might be right though. It could just be the heat. Does it feel like it's hot? At least there's a breeze. I mean, it's warm. It's not that hot. Can we come back online? I can just record it too. We can just upload it to YouTube. Twitch isn't working. It's fine. Now you're on. Alright, well, fucking it. Let's try it again. Are we back on? Yeah, I see you. We can have viewers. We'll buy a real camera. That's true. Tell them we're using last year's phone, goddammit. That's how it is. Okay, welcome back to Beer Swinney. Yeah, I think, technically, I think it just was <laughs> off the last screen. Yeah, just watching you sit down is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you you like you such a you watch, you watch, you watch. It's entertaining. Well, how is she supposed to sit down in here? It's like there's padding right down the ground. There is not the padding. You got a cannonball in this thing. Like that, you also can't have cannonballs. There's no padding no. and it is very shallow. Don't try to me. I hurt myself around here. All right, let's put another beer. What are other options? Well, there's another 903 in there. Is that also a sour? Uh, probably. Yeah. Did you take all the 903s that I brought? Well, man, we didn't take all the beers you brought. <sighs> we got brought this one. This is another the fourth one. Last month. Go look. Go look. Go ahead. Somebody's getting saucy again. Man. Go look. This is another. This is another four pack I brought. Because we had bought two of these here before. <laughs> No, we're not drinking this one. You're fucking with you. We're not drinking this one, apparently. Apparently. Look. Oh, we're drinking this beer, too. What does it say? Um, turn over once before serving to reduce to any subtle fruit. All right, we're drinking another slushy from 903. Another slushy from 903. We don't believe in IPAs today. Well, I mean, you know, maybe later. Let's see if the can holds up right this time. Oh, there you go. It opened right. It opened right. Ocean Breeze from 903. We'll put this bad boy The Ocean Breeze slushy. Uh, this is um, a Berwinner Weiss style aged on pineapple, cranberry, and grapefruit. Oh, okay. Ooh, that sounds good. That do sounds good. I like I like pineapple and I like cranberry. That looks like uh, It looks like um, looks like grapefruit juice. Yeah, it looks like grapefruit juice. I think it looks yeah. like an IPA gone wrong. Hopefully they can see that. I got some light in there that time. That's not bad. They can see light in there. Apparently, it doesn't work as well if you put your hand over the sun. Yeah, yeah. No COVID. So yeah, uh, it, it does. I would say I will agree with you, Calibre Girl. This is not the most appealing of colors. It's Yours actually, is like browner than mine. Yeah. yeah so oh no, it's a sun thing. Put it in the yeah. sun. In the it's, sun, it's not bad. But still, it's um, it's it's grapefruit juice gone wrong. That's what it I. Kind of smells like grapefruit juice. Dude. Well, I would hope so. It does, but I also get a pineapple too. There's There's a bunch no of words on it. What are the words? Uh, please read. Uh, you already see that. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, at least that one talked about how much fruit they had in it. This one, oh, this one also has more than they ever put. Wait a second. Hold on a second. How can you have two beers that both have more fruit than you ever put in a beer? Maybe they just put a pound more. Which beer was first? We don't have dates. That's what I'm saying. You know, that sounds like false advertising. This is fucking suspect. I agree. Definitely suspect. This beer, this beer is packed with fruit much more than we've ever put into a beer. This beer, no, this beer is packed with fruit, much more than they've ever put in a beer. Wrong, this one. No, 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 <laughs> this one for sure. Damn it. Technically, I think that one could be true, because this is the older of the two. Probably. I expect that next month they will also say that, but I, I suspect they're using that in all their slushy series beers. I bet you the number I three I have in the pool versus this. Okay, I like that one too. <laughs> it probably uh, does say it as safe. But thing. I think you can taste the, the marshmallow now in the other one, because it's missing here. It doesn't give it that creamy. Feel. Oh, this is just, you're right, the mouth feels wrong. But not wrong, it's definitely. It's, this yeah, is no, grapefruit it's different. This, this is paper. just a nice grapefruit juice, yep. With, um, it almost reminds me of like one of those guava grapefruit mixes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, like the ocean spray. With, yeah, like, with, like, yeah, like, like a, yeah, like a yeah. Like a slightly alcoholic ocean spray. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Do you want this one? Oh, you good. You get a lot of, well, you're going to get pineapple for sure. Pineapple is a strong flavor, I think, so. Yes, yeah, so pineapple can be very overpowering. But yeah. I like the pineapple. You know, hanging out of the pool isn't bad. No, it, we've had worse Sundays, to be frank. Yeah. Oh, look, honey, you could buy followers. I know. Did someone come oh. in and tell us? Oh, that's nice. Someone came on. They're telling us we could buy Why followers. Why don't we become famous? Buy followers. No, I mean, thanks. I don't want to become that famous. That's not true. I do. I want to become that famous. But you don't want to pay for it. I think I need a slightly better niche. Maybe the correct niche is for us to just, like, play video games while getting drunk, I and mean, then the drunker you are, I bet that would actually work to some small extent. Honestly, yes. it works better for girls. It does. Well, everything, everything works, works better, better for, girls. for girls. Everything works better for the girls. Except the biggest Twitcher streamers on Twitch are all men. Yeah, but I think most of the 
And they're all video games, right? Yeah. Like, IRL yeah. streams are all girls. So. They're all the big time winners. They're big time on video games. Like, um, right. people are very good at stuff like um, CSGO. Right. Stuff like that. Oh, Minecraft. Um, Mine, the Minecraft one I still don't get. I just don't, like, it's... You can do anything in Minecraft. I think that's the key to Minecraft, is you can do all kinds of shit in Minecraft, right? Right. Like, you can... I guess. People create their own mini games in yep. um, So, like, every Minecraft game, in, in Minecraft experience, you can compete with them. I guess that's true. Uh, which is kind of cool. I guess. Also, the dude sold for, like, a billion dollars, which is cool. Yeah, dude made a buck off of it. Off of 8-bit graphics. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty damn funny, frankly. You know, it's kind of a clever idea, right? It's just pixel by pixel, right? You can make the things. <sighs> so... I started watching this show, or it's like actually kind of a movie show, The Hustler and the Housewife. Have you seen this? I have not. You've got to watch this thing. So the guy who was the original attorney for like Aaron Brockovich's case way back in the day, he's a huge civil attorney. Okay. He's married to one of the real housewives of Beverly Hills. Solid. So, you know, he's like 80 and she's like 40. But they were married for 20 years. Um, but it gets really juicy when, you remember the San Bruno explosion? He represented the, the PG&E explosion in San Bruno, we knocked over the neighborhood. It was only a few years ago. Right, yep, a few years ago. Okay. He represented a bunch of the clients in there and took all their money. How much do you get out of the explosion? The PG&E explosions? Several people got tens of millions of dollars because it wrecked their houses, they got burned. Like, there's a guy oh, who had oh, actually, it actually, it burned it people. It actually burned people. Uh, yeah, so there were, there were people who got like, there was one guy on the show who had burns over 90% of his body basically having surgeries every six to 12 months to repair stuff. He, he got three years worth of payments where he was supposed to get 20 and the guy took the rest of the money. Now, he's, now he said at one point, said at one point I have 50 million in cash, 50 million investments, I'm broke. As soon as he said that, his wife filed for a divorce. Where's all the money go? Uh, well, she started she a, a, she started a music career. Here. She's very, um, but yeah. she, she started a music career with all of his money? How much money can you spend, like, failing at music? Well, she yeah, also lives in a mansion yeah, down in Beverly Hills. I mean, you know, you gotta live a life, you know, if you're living in Beverly Hills. We're doing $100 million. Oh, what do we got here? We got... Yeah, I don't know what that shit is. Gardass, what's up? Hey. What hey, up? Ray. I don't know what Gardass means, but cool. It's probably um, an insult, but cool with me, Gardass. whatever. I should probably drink less beer, then I'd have less belly, so that's a fair statement. How do you have a hundred million dollars? Like, I don't even know how anyone loses a hundred million dollars. Like, unless it's all stolen. And then the, <sighs> then the, you know, then the, then the government takes it. And the government do take it. Well, no, that's not true. The government don't have to take it. No, no, because you stole it. Oh, yeah, well, so, um, like, uh, so he's in bankruptcy, and the bankruptcy what? court has it. What did you say? And, um. What did you say? So apparently you're a fucking monkey. That's fair. I, I, I'm all right with that. I'm okay with being a monkey. Except, except it's a turtle and a hippo, but that's cool. Oh, right. bulldozer. Hippo. hippo. What is up? Hippo. Hippo. Turtle. Jeez. Alligator. No monkeys here. Yeah, monkeys don't even do water. It's not like a thing. Like, yeah, monkeys are monkeys monkeys really water animals. Fine. Monkeys are not the water animals. Now, if we so, had a jungle theme one day, but that's a lot of work. Well, not to mention, we can't be in a, like a jungle hot tub. Yeah, we have to redo the whole yard. We have to redo the whole yard. Drink some vines and shit. Yeah, that's getting a little, we'd have to get quite a few more followers. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with But you that. know what? Thanks for tuning in, even if it's just to insult us. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, we can take insults. We're not, you know. Right, no, we're, we're too, not taking a personal. We're two reasonably middle-aged white guys drinking beer and kidding you know, I think we can take an insult. <laughs> I can't. Is it getting worse? I don't know what our stars, LGBT, hashtag LGBT. He's asking sure. if you guys are gay. Uh, oh, we're not. We're not. We're, we're allies, though. We're allies. Yeah, that part's true. But, no. He's got a wife, I've got a wife. Well, I guess that doesn't necessarily mean anything. No. What beers we're just, are you drinking? We're just, we're just what buzzed. beers are you drinking? This is, uh, we're drinking, we're drinking these yeah. two so far. This was the first beer. It was a 903 Berliner Weiss called Strawberry Pineapple Coconut. Well, actually, it's called Puff Daddy, but Strawberry Pineapple Coconut Marshmallow actually explains the beer. And our second beer, which is in this cup here. It's a 903 Ocean Breeze Slushy with Berliner Weiss with grapefruit, pineapple, and cranberry. Uh, we're moving on. This shortly. one tastes a lot like grapefruit, though. With um, I guess probably, it's probably more like a grapefruit I cranberry. I, the pineapple I, hits right at the first. The only yeah, thriving flavor I, I actually is get. I get. I get more pineapple than grapefruit. I get some yeah. grapefruit, but I definitely get a lingering pineapple flavor, which I like. I like the pineapple. It's good. Man, it's you good. guys are right. What should we do next here? Who is this douchebag? Is he insulting us some more? 
Cool. Yeah, he's not saying anything legible. Oh, whatever. It's all good. That's good. So should we move on to one of our? Oh yeah. So we're just a, this is a brand new beer here. That's pretty not. All right. So oh, let's talk about. It. Talk we'll, about. It. We'll, we'll talk about. It. So we uh, let's see. So Monday. We talked about Great Basin. It was great. Yeah, Great Basin was, was the beer was good. Uh, I like the hazy. Uh, the food was good except for pickles. Remember? The yeah, food was good. Spears. Yeah, pickle spear no good. They even had house pickles. They had house made pickles. Then they cut the damn things in the spears and deep fried them. That's right, which you could just cut them cut in the them chips. chips, man. Uh, and I'm sure you can find a Georgia microbrewery that has good beer. You just might have to look okay. around a little bit. Georgia, no, Georgia's got some good ones. Um, nothing popping in my head, but there's definitely some there's definitely some stuff um, out of the Georgia area that I've had that I thought was really, really good. Well, yeah. Anyway, so we did. Gentlemen's trying to have a conversation with you. I know. No, Shane, no. Shane was just asking about Georgia. No, Georgia stuff. They're from Georgia, so they don't have good beers. Right. I thought there was a couple. That. I thought there were a couple in Georgia that were popping in my head that were good. I thought so, too. Um, yeah, and, and we're going to get into a West Coast IPA shortly. Is it Monday night? Is it Monday night brewing in Georgia? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like Monday night is in Georgia. Yeah, so we're, we're they're in the, awesome. So we're in the Bay Area of California, so most of the beer we're going to end up drinking tends to be um, stuff in California or maybe Creature Nevada. Creature Comforts. Oh, they don't distribute. Yeah, that's kind of stink. Distribution does make for problems. But, you know, we, we don't mind driving to breweries an hour and a half. Creature Comforts in... That's, where's that? That's, that's in California. Is that? No, he said that's that's Georgia. in Georgia. Yeah. I've heard of so, them before. I've heard of... I've, I want to say I've had them because we do this um, beer mail order thing called Tabor. Right. Uh, which ends up getting us beer kind of from all over from the country. Over the that's yeah. that's how we acquired these 903s because they're from Texas. They're from Texas and, from Texas and we're not. As a general rule, I try to avoid Texas. It's a rule. I've been there uh, never. once as an adult. Never. Been there never. Once as an uh, You know, I would go to Austin. You know. Yeah, I definitely want to check out Creature Comforts because I have heard of them too. I've heard of them for sure, yeah. I, we should check out Creature Comforts. Well, we got to get the drawer. I'll eyeball to bore at least. Maybe something will come through. That's true. That's true. I would go to Georgia. Yeah. It's kind of hot and humid, though, right? Like Georgia, like, be. you know, for being hot and humid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, most of the South is like that. But I mean, if I'm gonna go to Georgia, we get a game, like, you know, either football or basketball or baseball or something. I don't know why else. To go so to like Georgia. a sport. Yeah. <laughs> you just said a sport, but it's cool. I mean, you know, no, because I don't want to go to the soccer. I don't You're think they have the soccer hockey. these days. They have soccer. I know, I like, but I don't want to go to MLS soccer. Like, I would do a you know World Cup game or something like that, but I don't want to go. To, I don't want to go to MLS. Yeah, like Georgia, that. honestly, I'd probably prefer to go to the football game out there. I'm a, Me too. I think the Falcons are awesome. Definitely Monday night is in Georgia. All right, well, the wife says Monday night brewing is in Georgia. He mentioned Monday night. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. they, they're good. They so. have great fucking uh, What do you want to try? We're going to try uh, this. So anyway, so we were, we, were doing our, we were doing our beer trip, so... Oh, so we're going to skip over the other two breweries for, we'll, um, we'll mention, for we'll Monday, back, for and then more. we're going to go to the second brewery we hit on the Tuesday. So go ahead and tell us, tell us about Pigeon Head. So, so on Tuesday... Okay, you know, Tuesday it's like 100 million degrees. Hoppy Hippo here is basically like, if you go to a place, he's got a thing. He'll have something flagged, he'll have something tagged to go to. So we're in the Reno. This looks like sugar, right, honey. Um, we're in the Reno, and, and he's like, well, we can walk a couple of blocks and yeah, get to... Yeah, we're downtown, to, we're on the strip. We can get to Lead Dog. Lead right? Dog. Lead Dog. <laughs> Lead, Dog's, Lead Dog's second facility. So we did that, and then he's like, been another place for the a half a mile walk away. It's like another 10 minute walk. Right. Or we can walk 10 minutes back to the casino. Well, right. those are the options. So we're like, we're like, well, let's go. So we go to this place and it's a really little hole in the wall type brewery Pigeon called Head, right? Pigeon Head. Okay. So, so the strange, so, so the strange, he's going to tell you the strange thing about Pigeon Head is that they're a small facility, um, like pretty small. They didn't have a ton of tanks, mm -hmm. but they specialize in loggers. Yes. They had a whole separate room that just had their loggering tanks. So they yes. Have, their flagships are all loggers. And if you're familiar with the way loggers work, it takes a good 30 to 60 days 30 to log in here. Yeah. It's the vertical. Right, they had the, they had yeah. the, they had the horizontal the tanks horizontal. for the, for yeah. the loggering. But the whole point is, that's just tank space. And so you've got, you can get, basically, you can get an IPA in and out in a week. Yeah, in and out for a week so on an IPA. Probably six similar weeks, on some of those hours. You're too. losing six batches of yeah. beer for every fermenter you're taking up. Is kind of the process. Um, so a lot of people just won't do it for that reason. Right, usually they clearly most did. places have like one logger on right. tap, right? Yep. Usually places have like one logger This place on had quite a few. This place um, had, uh, it had two black loggers, it had a, a Rager, a standard logger, and it had a, um, a Schwartz beer too. Right Schwartz there. beer, yeah. Yep. So like so it was, four loggers something on tap. So it was, um, it, was it was a great little facility. The local artist. Local artist was great. I was had up all around. over the place. It was absolutely gorgeous artwork. My kids commented yeah, on it when I showed it to them. They loved it. Um, the tap room was kind of a, a little, you know, wood and then uh, artwork on the walls. 
They had about 10 or 12 beers on tap, I want to say. And I'll be honest, yeah, yeah, I, I was going into it without very high expectations. And, you know, it's um, a small spot. Sometimes they're cool. Like, mostly when you go to one of the really small breweries, what you're hoping for is one good beer. And honestly, you're hoping for a spot to chill. Um, Respectable Dozer. He's going to go watch Truck Simulator. Which just, oh, that's I wasn't even know that was a thing. Oh, yeah. You said all kinds of shit. I mean, you know. Never thought of it. Shit. Anyway, Thanks so uh, in. so I went to it with, with very low expectations, and to be honest with you, they knocked it out of the park. I thought it was really good. Their beers were good, good. Uh, good. The beer tender was awesome. He was super chatty. He was super chatty. He was a nice guy. He was. Uh, I'm wondering if he was part owner too or something. Because he was in the, he was in the early photos in the back, so I think he was on. Uh, I think he was involved. The he was involved early because he said they've been open four years. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. There you go. And that was, I think it was something like four years. So this one they're calling a New England style IPA, 28 IBUs, with 6.2%. 5.4. 5.4. Which is kind of light for a, 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 a New England style, but not terribly so. Um, uh, I think New England style is accurate. This is definitely hazy. Oh. Got some ridiculous. Can you freeze again? No. Okay. Yes, just, I see you. Just me. No, oh, my phone's getting warm apparently. Just oh yeah, no, the Pixel, the Pixel 4a is getting warm. Honestly, the old pixel is probably more likely than. So this beer is called Swing Shift Hazy IPA. Uh, a hard-working, easy-drinking, unfiltered IPA. That means it's not a... a I don't think it's a New England. What do they, do they call it? New England? No, well, they, they say New England style here. That's fine. And Hazy IPA here. By the way, it's that two points. Damn. This looks like so straight up fucking fruit juice. Fucking <laughs> Don't you eat it, drink your damn night. So anyway, uh, it says a hard-working, easy-drinking, unfiltered IPA that delivers a tropical fruit and crushed what the citrus fuck is that? punch. It's fucking good. I guess we'll find out. But I'm going to like this because it's got my hops. This is Halloween. Magnum, Halloween. Citra, and Mosaic. This, I, this beer is Halloween. When did we get a, a, a fruit smoothie? Mine. Does it look like liquid grape jelly? There's a reason why. It's raspberry, blueberry, blackberry, and peanut butter flavored for linear white. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Got it. It's From 903 Brewing. Tastes like the powdered peanut butter, though. Yes, yes, it definitely it doesn't, doesn't taste, taste like, like real the, the real creamy peanut butter. That right, is anyway. significantly better than the peanut butter ale we had in October. Yes. I picked the wrong peanut butter to order the extra other one appears to. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so this this particular beer here, um, it's not as um, not as orange juicy as I think New England should well, be and that's why, But when you when you read this, the Call description, it, unfiltered. it says unfiltered. Unfiltered New England, those are a little confusing because a lot of times you do an unfiltered, you'll have exactly this look. Um, maybe they, do they filter New England's? Maybe it's not no, they, they, you, you, you can actually filter New England's. I don't know that you do, um, but because the, the, the adjuncts that you're going to add are going to give it the haze that aren't going to come out of the filter. So I think this is less a New England IPA and more of an unfiltered with New England flavor. I feel like the, it's a little more like American Pale Ale style. I, I think the flavor is a little more American Pale Ale. I, 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 and the, well, I mean, not West Coast for sure, because it's not piney. No, not West Coast. Not yeah. West Coast. Like classic East Coast IPA. Well, before, any, before New England IPA was a thing, there were East Coast IPAs, which at the point were just called IPAs. Right, but but the true East this Coast style IPAs were, were much more malty and actually less hoppy. I never really liked, actually, the old school East Coast IPAs. This... This is, I, I look at this like what they That's did nice was they take the flavors you want out of a New England okay. in the mosaic and the citra hops, and then they just unfilter it. Yeah, I, that seems reasonable. It's pretty good, though. It is um, good. It's tasty. There are other stuff on tap here at Pigeon Head. Um, it's actually really, really oh, nice. Of, uh, a particular note, uh, the wife was a big fan of their Turkish coffee black lager. Yes. Oh, so, my God. So if you like black lagers, they tend to be um, smoky. Kind of smooth, um, but not the big heavy mouth feel that you get right. stout or porter. So that's why They're it's dark. It's kind of in between. Very dark. Right, and that's what it is. It, it, it's supposed to be more on the crisp than creamy side, uh, but definitely smoky. And then if you've ever had Turkish coffee, uh, it is very aromatic and very pungent. All cardamom, yeah. cardamom yes. yep, yep, yep. all of it. So it it's uh, fucking amazing. It, it's yeah, no, it was. Um, Probably right. the single quickest pint I've seen her drink in years. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. It, it went pretty quick for Cali Beer Girl. They seem to enjoy it quite a bit. Two of them. She did. She had Very two. Very As a matter of fact, I think you finished your two before I finished my flight, right? Which is unheard of. No, you guys no, are We finished the first flight. We finished the flight. We got, we got that half full. We got that half full. Okay. And then you yelled at me because uh, I got a full one. Are we in trouble again? No, no. Black EZ95. Unfortunately, I don't read Cyrillic, so. Oh, sorry. 
or Russian salute, isn't it? I don't know. It looks Russian esque. But anyway, cheers. Cheers anyway. Cheers anyway. So uh, this um, is solid. I believe we had this at the brewery. I think we did too. Um, I like it a lot. That's why we picked it up. I think this is a four star, maybe a four and a quarter at the brewery. Um, I think it was probably better on tap. I think that was the one we liked the most out of all of them. I agree. I think it might have been a little so. bit better on tap. But, I think, uh, I think it's, it's good. It's well, I think good. it was a little bit colder. It's kind of warmed up over here. From a small from a small brewery, and I, by small, I mean like the size, like nearly the size of like the beer Slaney set back here. Like, Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the size of the backyard yeah. here. You know, yeah. A couple hundred square feet, really. Um, I will say that... Uh, Definitely worth the walk. If you're in downtown Reno, just take well, the 15 minute walk to get up the Pigeon Head. The and you can stop at Lead Dog on the way. Wasn't it, was it was like 12 bucks for a four pack? It was. Yeah, so I mean, you know, you kind of. All the beers were cheap. When we're used to spending 16 to 20, even 22, or, you know, so a four pack, when you're spending 12 bucks for a good four pack of IPA, we were paying 18 to 19 yesterday at Moon Raker, actually. We, yeah, well, that's felt, what I'm saying. I felt okay about that because I'm so tired of these $22 four packs. Yep. Yep, I'm buying the twenty dollars like Is the aluminum can shortage done? I don't know that any shortage is done, frankly. Well, um, there's definitely a worker shortage. Cause, we cause, know that. Right, because you got a worker shortage. Stuff is not open because they couldn't put enough people. you got a trucker shortage. The shortage of truckers? Well, it feels like that's the kind of thing that shouldn't have really been affected by COVID effect. No, but see, the, the, the trucker shortage is usually more the gas trucks, which needs a different license than your normal well, truck. All Gas prices are all and so, sky and that's, high But right that's now. one of the reasons gas prices are so high is while the refineries aren't doing anything different, they can't get from the refineries to the gas stations because there's a shortage of gas hauling truckers. You need a different license than the, the true commercial license that you get yeah. for a, a, a big rig. When people just quit to take on a well, wait, you can't quit. You can't quit and take on a point, though. No, you can't quit and take on unemployment, but I don't I don't know. There was, I mean, you got to think about it. For a while, You didn't. a whole lot of people didn't eat gas. I, I, mean, I, guess, I, I guess you're right. But maybe... Maybe because there was so little gas usage last year, maybe they actually laid people off. And now those people don't want to come back. Right. Which apparently is a thing right now, the great resignation they're calling it. I'm not, I won't, um, when, you can, get, when you can get in California $750 a week of unemployment. Which is like nothing. Except you're doing nothing and you get $750 a week. You get two or three people in your house getting seven hundred fifty dollars a week. That's pre-tax though, right? Or is that what they know with I don't remember if unemployment's taxed. I think I'm pretty sure it's taxed. I think unemployment is and disability isn't. But yes, it is pre-tax. But you but they don't tax you're it. Take home about twelve. You probably take about twelve. But you, you, you still 12. get you get the whole check. But if you're only on unemployment, you're probably going to get well under the tax threshold for based on what they did with the the, the tax exemption stuff. So, uh, so no, yeah, so seven fifty a week. That's forty five thousand here. Right? It's uh. 35 at 7. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I, I, I totally, but, so the thing about thing is so weird. I understand why people would not want to, I understand why people who are getting unemployment for more than they could get if they were working don't want to go back. Uh, I don't blame them at all. I don't think the answer is to stop their unemployment. The answer is probably to figure out how to increase wages, but, you know, that's an argument for a different day. Um, I, well, that, and that's, it is kind of the argument. You know, you, you, you're going to go to work and you get paid. It's all bucks an hour. There's going to be a happy You're getting less than seven hundred fifty dollars. There's going to be a medium. Between. Now, the flip side of that coin is, if you were only making minimum wage, then you're not getting the full seven fifty a week. Okay, you're probably getting five or six hundred. But that is what you make at twelve bucks an hour. Twelve bucks an hour is two thousand sixty a month free tax. So if you're making five hundred dollars a week to stay home, why would you go to work for five hundred dollars a week? Uh, a lot of people are just resigning. They're just being told, hey, uh, you know what? You worked at home for the last eighteen months. Come on in. And now you got to go in the office five days a week. And people are like. Yeah, no, man. Fuck that. Like, no, no, thank you. Uh, thank fuck you. That. Yeah, we're still we're still struggling with how to do that. Like, we're not we don't want to go back to 100 percent full time in the office, but we also you know want to make sure there are people there to answer the phones and stuff. So it's kind of like a balancing act. Yeah, you just got to make people come back. Because yep. if you don't, they won't. People are gonna start quitting from having to come back. I'm surprised. Not you don't in my quit, office. <laughs> Why? Well, it, it's it's we're supposed to put a plan in there, but it's I like I said I. I Going into work every day costs you like 200 bucks a fucking week in like fucking gas. Or like 100, like Correct. Like 50 bucks a week in gas. Okay. It costs me more than 50 a week. Mine's about gas is almost, a week. Gas is almost five bucks a gallon right now. No, you drive like 20 miles. Yeah, 20 miles, but 20 miles doing 40 miles like an hour. Bucks a week you drive twice as far as this guy though. Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's, a bit, you don't have as much traffic as I have. So it's, it that's because I leave at five. That's what I'm in the saying. Morning. So there is there is a, an offset there, but I, yeah, I'll fill up maybe once a week, <laughs> and it's about eighty bucks or so. I don't know what you do. He needs another beer, is what he's telling me. Well, I'm done. 
Now, now you still got beer in your glass. No, no, it's fine. I'm just saying, like, saying, like, I, I understand why people would want to quit. Like, it's so weird that you spend this time doing your job from home and everything works fine. Your company works fine. You're still making some money. Yep, yep. And now they're just like, no, you got to go back in. When it turns yeah, out, like, you probably, yeah. You know, <laughs> turns out you probably may not have one. I think the right choice is going to be this hybrid spot, but we'll see. Well, see, so I've always had the opportunity to work from home. I, Which people, people. Pre-pandemic, yes. most people did not know what it was like to not have to go into the office every day. Right. Right? Most people didn't understand. Like, uh, the wife's a great example. When I was working from home, I've been working from home for two days a week at least for almost four years. Right. Like that, right? And uh, the wife is like, I don't know how you do it. Like, I got to be in the office to get shit done. Yada, 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 yada. And I was Come like, find out. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you, man. Like, the fact that I do not have to, like, drive into work Two of five a week makes my entire quality of life better. No, it, it is it is a benefit that employers should look into. Like, look, there is a value, not just the cash value, but there's a value of, you know, not only right. not having to drive, Time not having to deal with stuff, not having to get up and set your alarm and everything else, but also the value of trust where they know yeah. you're staying home and you're going to get shit right. done. Resolve, you're get stuff it's resolve-oriented thinking. It's right. just like... You're evaluated on did the employee or did the employee get their shit done? Right. You had a project. Did you finish the project? Answer yes. Right. And, and and let's be honest here. Unless you are like the fast food worker or the garbage hauler, or the grocery worker or something like that, there really is no need to be in the office. Like Cali Beer Girl, truly, you go to, if you go to work and you do ninety five percent of your work on the computer, guess what? You don't need to be on. That computer. Right. She works at a bank, so a few people need to be there because, you know, people like to come right, in. Right, come money. in and drop out their money. Yeah. But, but, but the yeah. point is they don't, they they don't rotate that. Right. You don't need yes. all of your people there all five days a week. You know, if you're a if you're a doctor or a therapist, if you're people facing, then yes, obviously it's better to go in. But even that, they were looking at the telemedicine didn't do terrible. Honestly, most doctors' visits could straight up be solved for the fucking with like a fucking video conference. I agree. I, 100%. Yes. And then if they need more, they'll come see you, which irks me just a little bit because you get charged your copay for that fucking e visit. And then, and you, then when you come in you gotta pay your copay for when you go in. I agree. And that's some bullshit. My yes. doctor I, I was complaining about that to my doctor actually like last year I had to go for something. And I was like I was like it's cool. Like I was like this is bullshit, right? Like first you make me schedule an online appointment and then that cost me whatever, fucking seventy five dollars because it's my copay. Ouch. I think it might be fifty yeah, it doesn't matter because you get one of those on the debit card. Right, right. You, you, get your, you get your But it's not cheap. Like it's it does, it's actual money. It's like right. it, it might be fifty. Mine's like twenty bucks. Right, ours is like 50, I think, for the COVID. But, but so I know that. And I was like, and then you tell me, oh, I show you a mole. Like, just like a fucking straight, standard, right. basic mole. But I don't recall it being there over video conference. She's like, yeah, come in. I got to see it in person. And then I can just excise it or whatever. Right? Easy peasy. I was like, all right, cool. So then I do that. Then I have to pay like another copay. But it's like, I knew you were about to look at it in person. Why couldn't we just skip $50 step one? Well, I she, she waived the fee the second time. No, she did because I mentioned it. That's my point. My point is that even my own doctor recognizes that, like, it's kind of dumb. I don't want to that. That's not my dad. Really? No. No. I don't want to. I don't know. That's all you. It's all you. So we've moved on to... Oh, uh, we've moved on to Sacramento. <laughs> Technically, Lincoln? Go ahead, Moxley. Moxley's Mox no. in Rockland. 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 Lincoln is uh, Sledge, right? Lincoln is Sledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is called Uncle Chan's Enchanted Elixir. I see what they did. It's a hazy IPA. Oh, we got this one a little while ago. Yep. A little older. It actually looks an awful lot like the one we just drank. It does. But that's, like I say, that's to me that's the difference. They're calling it a hazy IPA and not a New England. So I had the the girls girls try this. Synonymous. You had the girls try that? They were a little confused. I believe it. They're like, it smells like beer. It tastes like beer. It tastes like beer. It doesn't smell oh, like you might need to, you might need to start the girls try trying. You might need yeah. to start trying it out. Some Berlin license on the girls. So, no, it doesn't say anything. Hazy IPA, Galaxy Citra, and New Zealand Cascade. 7% though. They went big on this bad boy. It appears that Moxa Moxa always goes big. big. Oh, interesting. oh, interesting. I hadn't seen this before. Drink Moxa Fresh. Gluten reduced. Yeah. Reduced. It's not celiac friendly, but I didn't even know they had gluten reduced beer. And then it says rebirth and recycle. I'm not sure what that means. It means get your nickel back. Not, not like nickel back, but you know, your nickel back. Right, right. Get your nickel back, not your nickel back on. Yeah, right. Get your nickel back. Yeah. It's not uh, that there's anything wrong so with Moxa that. So Moxa makes good beer, so I expect this is going to be nice. But they I, do make big beers. Well, you see, uh, for me, Moxa's, I don't want to say overrated, but they're more hit and miss than a brewery of their renown, I, I think, think, should I be. think overhyped is more accurate than overrated. Overhyped is probably better, yeah, because it's... I'm 
pretty that's sure that's the one that left, right? No, that was little creatures. That was that's little creatures. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna have to translate all that stuff. Oh, that's great, actually. I agree. I want a colder, so that's my fault. Who wants a colder? Me. Oh, uh, I just I'm just like sitting here in this fake ice chest. It's because you're not closing it. You no, know, I'm lazy. Anyway, what so you, gotta um, do? you know what? It's still cooler than my house. That is true. That is true. Uh, so Corey, I mean, uh, 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 Hoppy Hippo, could talk about the moxa. We've talked about it before, but. You know, it's a small brewery out at Rockland. It's well, small. It's totally, they only have one spot. Right. It's small. I would it's, say it's in a terms reasonably of, sized warehouse. It's yeah. probably a former auto shop kind of place. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful giant windows, I think, and mm -hmm. overlooking the street, which I think is really, mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. High, high ceilings. They added a whole bunch of outdoor seating. Yep. Uh, they tend to specialize in pastry stouts. Yep. And um, the hazy IPAs. Hazy IPAs. Uh, with the occasional sour there, but I tend to think their sours are. Good, the problem is they're true sours versus your smoothie yeah. sours, Berliner Weiss, and stuff like anything, that. If anything, I think their pastry stouts are probably their best calling card. Putos, yes, that we are actually. Fair. Uh, no, you're not. No. Nope. But whatever. Whatever. Who cares? It doesn't matter to me. It's just some guy being a prick. Yeah, that's okay. So anyway, um, yeah, we already talked about that. We're allies. Oh, someone asked again. But I thought it was, I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, yeah, anyway, know. no, we're not. But that's, yeah, no, whatever. We're just, we're, just, we're just two white guys drinking beer in kiddie pools without shirts on. I'm not sure what What's so weird on. about that? What is so weird about that? Uh, with our look, Maddie, I got a, I got a dope hat on. That's right. It's very I, American, so I didn't, you know that I'm about that. I didn't wear my America hat. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. I just, yeah, I just think overall for Marks, I think they're, they're good. But Sours, for example, like... If we're in that area, we're just going to go to Burning Bear. We know we're going to go to Burning Bear. They're not really near each other. They're really I know, but I'm saying, if we want sours, we're not going to go to Mox. If we're going to go to Burning Bear. Mox is in a weird spot where, like, it's... It is. Because it's Rockland. Rockland's also, honestly. Rockland's, like, a spot to I go to. I actually think Burning Bear is a better brewery than Mox. I, beer I agree with you. Yes. I agree with you that uh, with that wholeheartedly. By the same note, I almost want to go 15 minutes past Mox to hit Moon Ranger. I agree with that, too. Um, I agree with that, too. I enjoy Moxa, but sometimes the waits are a little long. And I think that's that's probably a big part of it too. Like the last time we went, it was forty five minutes just to get in, and you're like, I don't. And it's expensive. It's a little pricey. You know, I don't know that your hippo like being smacked, but what? you know, you just know. gotta grab right there. Oh, you give it to me, hippo. There you go. This is why we tune into Twitch right here. This is why we tune into Twitch. Those right big here, white so. guys molest their hippos. White guy uh, molesting hippo. I'm not molesting hippo. <laughs> uh, so I would agree with you. Yeah, they're true. Well, very satisfying. And like you said, if you're going to go to, to I, you're really making a special Is that trip. beer green? Holy it's green. It's green. It's blue raspberry. Yeah, that beer's green. That beer's hella green. That's very green. That beer's hella green. I'm <laughs> like, right, are so you having some sort of lime? Sorry, a little off-camera weird shit. You will uh, see the green beer. Don't worry. Shit going on, you will see the green beer. Oh, it's um, starting to pour blue now. Oh, you didn't spin it enough? Oh, yeah. I can see it changing colors. <laughs> This anyway, beer is magic. It is magic. Fucking so, I, you know, of all the places that we go to in Sacramento, it's just between Slice and Moxa, they're just so far out of the way and so isolated from other things that we want to do or places we want to go. I mean, go. Moxa at least has out of bounds right down the street. You get a little brewery hop in. 15 extra minutes to Moxa. Now it's blue. But I, think, this. I, I do think that Slice is just a little Holy shit. Fun. Did you see it coming out of the camera? You gotta put that on camera. You didn't, did you forget to roll it? I did. <laughs> you did roll it or you did forget? I forgot. It's so blue coming out of the camera. You can see it dripping blue. This anyway, is intriguing television watching us uh, watch something off screen. Uh, yeah, but anyway, um, so I do. I like the Moxa, but there's just, I don't know. They make a good beer, though. The reality is this is a good beer. This beer is better than the last beer. You like the Better in the Pigeon Head? I do. Okay. Uh, I do you not like it better than the Pigeon Head? I like the other one better a little bit more, only because of the hops. I just, like I said, it's, it's, and it is getting much more bluey now. I mean, definitely the winner so far today is this crazy marshmallow strawberry pineapple coconut thing for me. I probably won't disagree with you. It's just, you know, this one's got, I've never really liked the New Zealand hops, which you do like. That's fair, that's fair. And this one's got the, um, the mosaics and the citra and magnum hops, which I like. So, you know. Is this rocking like Moe's left or something? No, it's New Zealand's uh, mosaic or something like that. Yeah, oh, New Zealand Cascade. Oh, Cascade. It is good, though. It's a good beer. Oh, it's it is a good, good beer. beer. It's a good beer. And it, and it is a great facility. It's just, 
I think it's too popular for its own good. I think that's the reality. It's too, they need to open a second facility somewhere to help siphon some people off because, like you say, I, I don't like, I don't want to wait 45 minutes to get a good steak, let alone a beer. You know what I mean? And especially because there's nothing else to do there. Like if they're in a strip mall and you could go do some shopping or something, what are you going to do while you're waiting 45 minutes? Yeah, I'm never waiting 45 car. minutes for a seat at brewery. Ever. I mean, it looks like it should be great because it's bluish green. Look at the color on this thing. I don't know if they can see it. Hi, Casey. Can. How are you doing? Forces. I don't know what four stars means, but cool. Four stars is good. Four stars is good. Respect. I, Thank you. Four out of five stars. I don't know. Is that what it means? Well, why the hell would you say four stars? I, it's, maybe you say fuck and you got um, or shit and you got censored? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure on the flavor on this, but damn, I love the color. It's clearly a rating. Four out of five stars. I'm gonna agree with that. I'm gonna go with four stars. Yeah. Thank you. It is. It is very pretty. Um, you know, it's got a. Uh, you guys probably won't appreciate it, but I'm. You know, it's got a very much blue milk Star Wars from yes. from Disneyland look to it. Just pointing. I out. agree with that. And if you watch the original Star Wars and you watch you have that. and you watch Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru and they have the blue milk. You haven't been to Disneyland when they had Star Wars. Yeah, we have. No, we really have not been there. Star Wars. No, no. never been there. No. It was only yeah. since they, no, opened, they opened Star Wars Land. They opened Star Wars Land. Like pre, like a year pre COVID, right? Like roughly. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually was, it opened the year of COVID. Yeah. It, it, like six months before COVID, it was literally open. Yeah, so the year before COVID. Because we went to, but COVID. it was only partially open. Yeah, but COVID hit in 2019. So they, it happened in 2018. It opened the year before COVID. Well, I mean, I mean technically we locked down. No, right, COVID was 2020. Yeah, March of 2020. So it opened we in 2019. Went, we went in December of 2019, which yeah. is when they did the Rise ride, which was the first part of it. It wasn't fully open, but yes, it partially opened the year about before COVID. The year, six months before COVID. And technically, the year, not a year, the year, not a year, the year. That can't be true because it's COVID nineteen. Oh, not which is COVID. not the nineteenth version of nobody, COVID, but COVID no, that was created. Nobody in cares about COVID until we <laughs> lock down. COVID started in March. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but anyway, all, all your friends who say they had COVID in December, they're probably wrong. They're probably wrong. Though some of them are probably right, so it's a little confusing. Some of them could be right, but probably not 2019. More likely early December, like January, December, January. December, January. Yeah, yeah. late in there. Late in there. But um, oh, so we talked about our crew before Torino here still. So uh, after Great Basin, we rolled out to Lead Dogs. Um, not Lead Dogs. Lead Dogs facility out in Sparks, Nevada. Yes, um, huge facility. We actually it's a went big facility. facility right? We did, but the next one's the next day. Uh, so it's not. It's actually called Le Lead Dog. It's L E A D Dog. And, the story basically is that I'm an idiot, and for years when I read, when I read that, I thought it was lead, I thought it was lead dog, lead dog. which I thought was kind of a cool name. And then uh, someone pointed out to me that it's actually lead dog, and they name all their shit after packs of dogs and yep. stuff like that, uh, which makes significantly more sense. But I don't care. I'm calling it lead dog till I die. Till he dies. So we went to lead dog. It's kind of um, out in Sparks, which is sort of the boonies around Reno. Kind of. I mean, you know, it, it, you know it's, industrial area. it's basically your Oakland of San Francisco. If you're in Reno and you go to Sparks, it feels like it's far away, but it's really only like 10 minutes. It's literally next door here. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. You can get from downtown Sparks to downtown Reno in about 10 minutes. So it was a nice facility. It was yep. very, very big, but they had uh, about 20 beers on tap, yep, probably. Yep, yep. Uh, we did just find out they got bought off by Mammoth Brewing. That's right, Mammoth Brewing down at Mammoth Lakes apparently bought them out, had a couple of their beers on tap. Um, I was surprised by that, frankly, because I have been to Mammoth and didn't think their facility was that big, but apparently they roll it. So, you know, it, 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 it's... Apparently people love to get beer while they go on the lake. I, first of all, if you haven't been to Mammoth, you should go. It's absolutely gorgeous. Never been it there. It's really, on my really list. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't saved your maps. Uh, and if you've never been to Blues of Palooza, their beer and blues festival, you should do that too if you like beer and or blues, and definitely if you like both. Uh, if you like live music and beer, oh, what's this? Sierra, I don't know what that means. Yo, I'll just do that. Yo, what's up, Juge? I don't know what Sierra or Kuwait means, but all right. Um, so we're getting a lot of foreign languages today. I don't know. So, so I, it's like I said, they I in California, they just think we're, they but, just think we're delusional from the heat. The good news is, it sounds like they're not really going to change much from when we were talking to them. You know, they did have some Mammoth beers on tap, so it might be their opportunity to, it might be more of a distribution thing where you can bring the Southern California beer up and the Northern California, or I guess it's not even Nevada, Nevada yeah. technically Nevada beers down. Um, the really interesting thing is that a place that makes kind of mediocre beer about another place that makes kind of mediocre beer. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the beer's fine at Let Dog. It's um, good. I the like sours it. needed more flavor. Basically, every single beer needed more flavor. Everything was in the three and a half, a three and three quarters. Three needed, the flavors were not strong enough. Everything was kind of. No, yeah, flavor. like like we got. I got a pineapple IPA, and I'm like, where's my There's pineapple? pineapple. Except well, for that peanut butter stout. The peanut butter stout is usually pretty good. But that's their sours did not have any of the flavors. No, the I sours were not, not not fruity enough, not fruit sour no. enough. Their IPAs were fine. I was a fine, it was a fine stop. But, but I like the facility and I like the beer tender. I think everything was was solid. Uh, they definitely needed air conditioning. That that would have helped a it lot. It doesn't help you if they're ten minutes away from the next stop. That's true. That is true. So, but it's good. It was fine. I think if you're up in the area and you like to try new breweries, I I wouldn't turn people would away from it, it. But it's it's mediocre. I'd go back, but I would make a point to go. I rated it. I changed the tag on my uh, maps for breweries in May. Well, I would see that. Yeah. Right, I just breweries. I have breweries favorites. Breweries to try. Breweries mad. Breweries solid. I kind of put them in that range. I could. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I, I would go slightly above that, but if you well, I mean, drink a lot, so I would go to anything I'm fucking nearby. And that's the point. Like, like first of all, I would say that if you've <laughs> never been there, you'd like to know. But I get what you're saying. Is like, no, you. Uh, your point is your your review point is you, know, you should try this brewery. Like if it's a it's breweries to try, no, no. What I'm saying is in your rating system, if you put breweries to try, it's like no, you should try this brewery as opposed yes. to uh, you could try it. Breweries, so breweries, breweries, breweries to try is breweries I haven't been to personally. Oh, so so breweries solid are the ones I would definitely go back to. I would, if I was in the area and I have a breweries man, a brewery solid, and a breweries favorites, obviously I'm going to favorites. That's sure. everything works. My favorite ones are favorites. And then solid is just stuff that I think is pretty good beer, good facility. And man, I was like, yeah, I'd go there. Oh, I see. If I was in the area. But I'm not going to choose to like, try it. If my choices so, are between like revision and lead dog, and I'm like, revision. Revision, between them, right, where I'm going to be in that area, like, I know which one I'm going to choose. Because it's kind of the point, you know what I mean? I agree. And I would go to, I would go to Pigeon Head over. It was probably, it was, it was the worst of the beer we had. Of, I mean, well, actually, 50, 50 maybe. Well, I, I actually think, I, I mean, arena, I didn't arena, like arena, Great Bisson's beer as much, but. I don't know. Lead dog that's the, the facility was go. Well, yeah, the, the way facility kicks up. Facility kicks yes, up yes, yes, that's, yes, right. yes. that's fair. That's what a straight beer to beer perspective. Yes, it's probably actually the lead dog might actually make sense. Right, because we had a bunch of the Ichthyo Sour, which is um, Great Basin's flagship IPA, because they were giving that out at the brew at the casinos. That was one of the options you could get for an IPA for a local. And it was it wasn't good. It was not good. It was not good. Mm-hmm. It was not good. We had the the whatever the hazy was at the restaurant, which I thought was pretty good. I thought the beer we had at the restaurant was better yeah, than the Ichthyo Sour. Yeah, absolutely. So, then, so, so we left Lead Dog or Lead Dog and we had to Revision. Well, that's right, it was Revision. You go to Revision. Which was um, my first time there. You've been there before. No, I've never been there. No, I've been to Reno like 20 years. Tap. We've just bought in their beer. Oh, oh yeah. Well, and they're fairly easy to get where we are. I didn't even drink Disco. I didn't even drink beer the last Disco, time I was what there. Is it? Disco, Disco Ninja. Disco Ninja. Bought and, that tack that's on the wall. So oh it's uh, There has not been a revision I haven't liked. And I will say I got a, I got a flight. I liked every single one of them. Right? I thought the facility was really great. They had the indoor, the first part of the facility, which was where the bar area was, with some tables and the cold storage uh, for the, the cans, and then opening up the brewery fa- part of the facility where they had some picnic tables and stuff. Um, again, needed more air conditioning, but I'm not sure how you air condition a yeah, warehouse. Space. You know, well, then it was um, fucking 110. I see. Right. So you know, so there was that. But I really, it was. I I will I will say I think. I want to, it was, it's, for me, it's a coin flip of my favorite stop between Revision and Pigeon Head. Do we walk out of Revision with a case and a half? I think, honestly, I think Pigeon Head was better because it was uh, more eclectic. I agree. In a sense. That's what I'm saying. It was, they I had mean, very different beers. And if you, and if you, and not just that too, but that the atmosphere, the artwork, the, the beer tender, everything was just, it was just, it, it just gives it, it, it was gave more it, comfortable. It was. And, and and like I said, not that the beer tender it, it revision did anything wrong. The beer is great. This is harsh. It uh, was harsh. No, no, I just think I think you guys are comparing two things here. Uh, I think the facility was chiller at Pigeon Head. Yes. But the beer is better at Pigeon Head. Uh, yes. No, that's what so I'm saying. So we're clear. Like, you, yeah, that's I like no. that the beer was different at Pigeon Head. Oh yeah, no, Revision's got that problem like Fieldwork has where you can order a flight of all the hazy all IPAs. IPAs. And you don't even know which one is which sometimes. That's true. And, no, and, and I can I'll agree tell you at Revision, you can taste the difference in their IPAs versus Fieldwork. Oh, they did taste oh, different. One more. one more to go. So yeah, so I and that, but that's my point is if you're rating the facility just on the beer, no, we, we, again, we didn't walk out with a case of fucking pigeon. Right. right. Well, that's because they didn't know we walked out with a four-pack. And a crowd. And a crowd. Oh, that was so good. But we walked out of <laughs> revision with 
We bought so six, and I think he threw us in one. He was like, uh, We bought more than six. We bought eight, and he threw in one. Oh, yeah, he bought eight. And he, threw in one. he was like, Y'all didn't buy Reno as fuck. You can't come out to Reno and not get some Reno as fuck. And he threw it in. Which is actually a good beer. It's it's a good beer. I, like you said, all their beers it's are good. It's got a great name. It's a they, great West Coast. These are, these are, that, that is in your solid brew. I'm not going to feel bad if I pull the revision out of my fridge. You no, know, if I go to like if I go to the fridge right now and I got a bunch of revisions in them, I'm like, Shit, honestly, their hazies, their hazies are probably, <laughs> their hazies are probably on the same level. I think, generally speaking, if I'm gonna go to beer, if I if I open my fridge and I have a burning barrel hazy, a hen house hazy, and like a revision hazy, like I don't think you're gonna go wrong. Whichever one you pull. No, you're not going wrong. I'm going hen house. But which one do you pick exactly? But then I, I, I might go revision house. over burning barrel. I think it because depends. I think burning barrel does better actually, hours than I mean, me. if I think the answer might, I actually was gonna say burning barrel positive. I think hen house. I would pick burning barrel. West Coast barrel might be better than hazy. I, I, you can't disagree with that, actually. That's um, a fair point. That is a fair point. Revision specializes like, look, look. in hazies. Yeah, but Reno is fucking... Is Reno is fucking... No, they have West no, Coast, that's too. The, West Coast. the hazies are what they're known for. Honestly, they make a great triple. Yes. They do. Yeah, they make great triples. triples. Their triple is great. Dr. Lupin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We like them a lot. But, uh, so Revisions facility is really, really nice. We got some nice pictures. Uh, we did a oh, shout-out to Sacramento Craft Beer Enthusiasts on right. Facebook. We met one of the admins for that page yes, while we were there. He didn't appreciate the fact that I'm not automatically offended by someone having been bought out by Big Beer. No, he did not like that at all. But yeah, he did want to know our opinion on which brewery. He did ask us what our favorite Sacramento brewery was. But there was, was yeah. one that we kind of dissed that he was surprised we dissed. Oh, it was Moxa. It was no, Moxa. No, it wasn't Moxa. It was a different one. Well, we agreed with well, Port, we liked Porchlight. He didn't really like Porchlight. No, right. but there was one that we're like. And then he liked Flatland, and we liked Flatland. Well, Golden Road was the one he didn't like that I liked. We yes, like, we all like Flatland. One that he was like, true. We started like saying it wasn't great and all that, and he's like, really? And we're like, oh shit, do you work for them? That, that was, was before really we found out his Moxa. page. No, he works for Moxa. Moxa is where he works for. It wasn't. No, but it wasn't one he worked for. Oh. He was just surprised by our answer on know. one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, his list was cool. Like, I wouldn't disagree with his list necessarily. I we just don't agree on his list. Well, and it's, here's the thing. Flatland probably is the best beer in El Bro. Mm -hmm. I think Tilted Nash is probably the chillest spot. I love Tilted Nash. Well, that last trip we had to Flatland during Beer Week was like that was prior to that trip. I would have put Tilted Nash over it, but that trip was fucking they, so no, good. They, they, like, I feel like if they were still putting out beer in the same thing as that. Look, the, the Flatland's getting boom, better. You know what I mean? Like, time, boom. Flatland is getting better. Flatland has gone from beer meh. Right. To we talked about it. We talked about Hungry Pecker. It used to be a meh. We yeah, talked yeah. about some like Oh, Hungry beer. Pecker. Yeah, he he brought up that and we're like, ugh. Yeah, I didn't like us Well, you guys were like meh. We didn't like Hungry Pecker. I haven't been there yet. No, no. I mean, we were there when they had four beers total on tap, though. I mean, they are not so. That's a West Coast type beer. That's what she's supposed to do. Oh, this is Rising Together. This is the, yes. um... Oh, this is the Moxa. Brewer's Guild, uh... Yes. Yeah. This is the Brewer's Guild collaboration, basically, for, um, all of Sacramento for Sacramento Beer Week. Right, but it's also the Rising Together was a fundraising thing. Actually, talked about Oh, Rising Together initiative is yes. allowed to help our local brewing community overcome the challenges faced in the last year. Working to keep the scene alive in unprecedented and challenging times, the sell of this beer supports the Sacramento Area Brewer's Guild, supporting the local breweries, captain staff, in all areas. All areas of the hospitality industry that we love and care about. There's yep. a word missing there. And all areas of the hospitality that we love and care about. All areas no, no. And all areas of the hospitality industry we love and care about. Is there just a right. comma missing? No, it's just you have to, it's how you read it. So no. If you, no, if you pause, there should be a comma. No, no, but 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 it's it's you would say you could say all areas of the hospitality industry that we love, okay, okay. but you don't need the of because it's one of those wasted words. Technically, you're all areas teacher, the hospitality you care about. The hospitality industry we love care about. So all areas the the wife that you love care about. I feel like you're pausing them between the the and the areas. I, you're right, but you wouldn't pause. It, the pause is not a comma pause. I'm telling you. Literally, it's, commas are pauses. That's, that's how it I, works. I know they are, but it's not, but you don't, because it, it's not just, it, it's it's a it's a grammatical pause that is in how you, you can read a word, like, look, do you think all of Captain Kirk's speeches had commas, like every fourth word? Spot, where, oh, we go. I'm pretty fucking sure that your son, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if your son fucking subtitled that bitch, it would, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna have would. to watch. I'm gonna have to watch an old school Star Trek episode just to see would. if they put a comma I everywhere. Think it would. <laughs> but it's I. It's, no, so you're right. You're right. The problem here is if you put a comma, 
It's going to change the lane. And all the areas, comma, the hot. That was the sound right. But also, the street, I feel like it needs an UG. No. And, it, and it, you're, it's not wrong to have an UG. Somebody just, probably proofread this with a college degree, and I do not have correct. one of those. That is that, no, that's as, as you can tell, because I'm rocking, rocking a fucking natty light hat over here, drinking beer, riding a hippo in a fucking kiddie pool. You don't do that with college degrees. You ride turtles. That's right. You, you get you got the, the 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 Juris Doctorate. You ride the turtle. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's the, the, it's the world on the turtle's back. I just have a certification now. I'm very excited. You got all um, certs, don't you? Well, the other one was fine. I had one half. Uh, okay. I just got like last week or two weeks ago. Whatever. Anyway, so, this, this is good. This beer's really this nice. Beer's good. This beer's really good. Uh, it's their collaboration. I guess not I a collaboration. It's, not a plat- it's just it's just for the brewers. Guys. There's it's actually plat- nothing about it that even says it's the same menu, uh, the same, no. the same um, recipe. I think everyone just made a different beer. Yes, they, they basically just together. put the, they just stamped this rising together on it. Just I, uh, I guess you can't really compare it to the black is beautiful. No, that's not true. The black is well, black is beautiful had a base recipe and you adjunct it. Well, okay, that's not true. But some people didn't. Because well, some people also like change it, like made it a lager. That's what I see. Some people actually did. So yeah, some people changed it up. Same deal. So, um, this is good. I, I do like the, the J Street Bridge in the background. That's kind of cool, yeah. you know? And oh, my gosh. There's a fucking thing in Sacramento. Yeah, really? There's okay. a thing. There's a thing. Um, in Sacramento. It's called, um, shit, it's called Dinner on the Bridge, something like that. Oh, my God, I want to do that. Yeah, well, it's, it's a the fucking, farm to fork on a bridge or Yeah, it's a fucking, shit. literally, literally, it's a lottery every year to get in. And they close and down the so tour. Now, like now you have to do it because I'll never win. I know, I lost shit. last year. They, it lost. sells out in like five minutes. It's literally a lottery and it's done. Um, I tried for it last year. I'll try for it again this year. Oh yeah, I'll go. But they close down the Jake Street Bridge and they do an entire like seven on the course bridge? farm to fork fucking bridge. hill on the oh, bridge. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm down to that. I found it a few years ago, and ever since then, I, I am like, I so really down, down to do that because the view on that bridge between between the courthouse down there, the Supreme Court, Capitol Building, fucking amazing. Wow, yeah, I'm totally down. Straight up farm to fork. And that's the other part of it, like. I mean, you're not getting a seven course farm to fork meal that ain't great, and then the view. Oh, it I'm down. I'm down. Phenomenal. It's called, no, sorry, it's called the Tower Bridge Dinner. So it's on the Tower Bridge. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Well, I, I, I think it's called the, the, I call it the Day Street Bridge, but it's the Yellow Tower Bridge. It's Sunday, September 12th, actually. Uh, let's see here. When does that open up this year? Oh, ooh, registration. For the chance to purchase two public tickets opens July 15th. Two? Sorry, Which Amber. you gotta be up. So, so, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Cali Beer Go don't get to go. Oh, there'd be a problem. <laughs> yeah, it would be. It would be. It would be. Okay, hold on. Only one. E- only one registration will be accepted per email address or per entry, regardless of method of entry. Um. So consequently, on the fifteenth, we simply all need to register, and hopefully, deal with us can win. I got like. We can. We can. We can. And you find out July twenty eighth too. So that's set up like twenty five. Um, just probably make sure that we're open on. We have the kids home. But if those we own the URL, so we can get dozens. I don't like nine URLs. Yes. I don't like what? I don't like nine URLs. Oh, you do. That's yes. true. That's true. That's a good point. Not that we're talking about cheating on camera. You put your feet in. Oh, good. You put your feet in. Where's this? Where's the book for the smoker? I put it back at the um, I recipes. Saw it on the counter. In the fucking library. Okay. No, came in the fridge. Oh, I saw the book. Okay, right so we I definitely. So that's. that's yeah, what was that? Didn't come in the fridge. Yeah, that's the one. There's one I got. Fucking. I need to put my new. I need to put my new glasses on top of this. So anyway, I, this is a good West Coast. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. Uh, okay, so we need to remember that though. So next, uh, so next, we're actually in three days. We got to, uh, we got all our register. Right, I, mean, I don't really want to create thing. new ones to cheat, but I mean, but if you have to, well, I've got well, access to about a half a dozen. I usually just don't create new ones to cheat, honestly. Plus, it's per entrance, per entrance. So if you use the same name, I just think the far block is the age. I only have one email That's address. A good point. Yeah, so I would probably just do you, and I would do Denise, and I would do me, and I would do uh, that one. I'm not supposed to do the <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. No Luckily, no one can hear me. So that is true. Mind. No one's, no one's, um, yeah, no one's watching you. No one's watching but us. Um, yeah, it's probably the best idea because you're right. Probably. I mean, I could, I could sign up with the kids' names. Maybe the kids are not watching. Maybe tell the, uh, maybe tell the oldest one to cook because uh, she and, uh, she and her, uh, well, I'm feeling good. Today. That's yeah, true. I actually think they'd like that. Did you cook your dinner for Hawaii? No. 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 I, we're supposed to I haven't that. booked. I haven't booked my repelling thing either. Oh, we got to do the repelling. We haven't done the repelling. I mean, we weren't going to do that until we got yeah, there. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. You like, no, you're supposed to repelling. book the, the dinner. Repelling no, had weight limits, and frankly, I took the entire week off, so it's fucking hard. You can book 
Mar Mariners is only 30 days. You can book it tomorrow. Actually, no, it's, you're fucked. Actually, you're fucked. 30 days. No, it's two people. You no, might still fucked. be able to get in. You're fucked. Hey, whatever. Oh, no, whatever. Shit is sold out. When we leave on like the 10th, I think, to come home or something like that. Today's the 11th. We have to book on like. You check the day, you can get tickets for like the 10th. I'll find out. We'll see. Uh, I, I got some other spots I mean, you could try, on. but um, honestly, I couldn't find a lot of the good food. I just, I was not finding a lot of. No, I don't imagine there's a lot. But I mean, if we're getting fresh seafood, I couldn't find fancy gluten free days. Sorry. Like, honestly, you don't. Most places said don't bother. The really fancy tasting in these places were like, yeah, oh, nice. no, it's fine. What? Oh, nice. uh, no, you know, I, I love my hippos. <laughs> She's great. I'm Your dead. hippos are sheep. They're all shoes, man. They're okay. all shoes. I appreciate you fucking jittering my hippo. Whoa, whoa, wait! Don't start with that shit. And what's you, up? Look, you look, look. Is she? Well, no, you get the she got pink ears, ears, man. Pull it off. You can't see You're you. You're gonna need a. Bye. Wait. Is she mad at us? No, she's trying to smoke. She's always mad at us. What are you smoking? Ribs. Ribs. I want to use my smoker again. I know. I'm so sad. They're gonna send you though. This week. For free. Oh, good. For free. I didn't have to pay for it. They just did really? it under warranty, even though I didn't register it. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, we're out of beer. We should probably sign off. We're out of beer. Yeah. So, um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining uh, us this week, you guys. Almost, I think we'll see you next week, right? Yeah. yeah next week should be good. I have a thing at my house on Saturday. With, uh, the I don't think we have any this weekend. Or something. Can they do the barbecue? I don't think that's happening because she's dilating that shit. You're probably right. We're, not, we're making the official decision on Wednesday. Oh, so, so we're going to sign off. Thank you guys for joining us here on Beer Slanting. Check us out next week. Check us out at beersplanting.com, YouTube. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed our Beer Slanting. Yada, yada, yada. Instagram. Give us a follow and on Twitch. Beer trades are always welcome. Your head is cut off. Because I'm sitting up. It's not having that. And uh, <laughs> with that, we say cheers. Cheers. And should be the pop up. Go ahead.